let's get a live update now. As we told you just minutes ago, protesters took to the streets tonight in a stand against those new restrictions. Tyler Emery is live here on the night team, and it's a different scene uh, where you're located, Tyler. Yeah, Doug, I'm out here at Jefferson Square Park where pretty much no one is standing outside in the rain here, but there are some cars lining the park. I could hear them honking just a few minutes ago. There may still be some cars out caravanning, but what I've heard from some folks who were a part of that protest earlier tonight, they said that LMPD stopped the caravan pretty quickly, and they, those protesters told me that the caravan was intended to be a direct stand against LMPD's new restrictions, which some are now in trying to take legal action against. Within 24 hours of LMPD announcing its new restrictions of protests, a group is already taking legal action. A motion filed tonight asks for an injunction to temporarily and permanently stop LMPD from enforcing its orders, banning caravans and marches in the streets. The order is directly in violation of Kentucky statute. Attorney David Maurer, who has represented protesters in various cases, says he's seeking the restraining order on behalf of protester group Firm Initiative, Inc. I believe it specifically permits protests via walking in the street. Maurer said state law only allows for protesters to be charged if they're completely blocking traffic from passing. LMPD's method of preventing people from protesting in the street and blocking intersections was to march in the street and block intersections. LMPD in a Sunday night update on protests said it issued six citations and made two arrests on the first night enforcing the new rules. Department spokeswoman Jesse Halliday said protesters were not prohibited from marching or protesting. They were advised to get out of the street to allow for the free flow of traffic and not to stop in intersections blocking traffic. There was no attempt to stop or restrict the speech of protesters. I don't believe their mantra for a second that we're all about uh, First Amendment rights. Maurer also questions why the department is now issuing the protest restrictions. LMPD said it was Saturday night's actions by protesters that helped prompt the changes. Things got out of hand Saturday night in, in a couple of respects. Maurer says he will file a written motion in the morning to get a hearing in front of a judge sometime tomorrow. And we've now heard from Metro Safe that there may be a small group of protesters caravanning in Tyler Park, but Metro Safe tells us that that group is peaceful. Again, though, here, Doug, at Jefferson Square Park, it's fairly quiet. For the night team tonight, I'm Tyler Emery.